presents national champion Ohio State football on ESPN Plus. More than 100,000 on hand at Ohio Stadium to watch two state teams with perfect records battle it out in the Buckeyes and Bowling Green. And for Bowling Green, Brandon Jones and Terrell Mayberry are back deep to take this kick. Only the third meeting ever between these two clubs and we are underway a short kick and Jones has it and he is brought down just over the 15 yard line you see his season numbers only played a little over a quarter last week in their big victory over Liberty Harris over center as this game progresses you will see they will use a no huddle pass over to Cole Magner he's got it and a nice pickup on first down First, the Bowling Green backs and receivers, Magner. He is the go-to guy, one of the tremendous athletes in the MAC conference. On that offensive line, Scott Murkowski anchors it, a Lombardi Award candidate from Bowling Green. Second down and two. This time, the running game goes to work for Bowling Green. Nate Sally makes the tackle as we take a look at Ohio State's defensive starters, Darian Scott. One of three Lombardi Award candidates. A.J. Hawk leads the team with 20 tackles. And Chris Gamble, all everything for Ohio State, playing a lot of defense in the first three games. May see him a little bit on offense more today. We will see. First down to 10. Again, Bowling Green moving the football. Harris fakes the handoff. Goes left as an open receiver. But overshoots Charles Sherrin. Third down and one on the opening drive from their own 46. Harris has this one deflected away. It's a low liner. Picks it up at his 20. Tries to turn the corner. Not a whole lot of running room before he's finally pushed out of bounds at the 24-yard line as McMullen comes out. He's attempted only one pass so far this season in limited playing action. Practice in a game is completely different. And the handoff goes to Ross. And they want to get that running game going. Take a look at the backs and receivers. Michael Jenkins, the uh, leading receiver, of course, for Ohio State. Two touchdowns last week in that victory over North Carolina State. On that offensive line, Nick Mangold getting his second career start. Second down and six. McMullen back to pass. Finds this receiver and Michael Jenkins. And we'll take a look at that Bowling Green defense right now. Mitchell Crossley and Devon Parks. Two great young players. Mitch Hewitt, three fumble recoveries in the last two games. And Keon Newsom, leading tackler for this Bowling Green team. With their own 35. Lost the fake. Reverse around this time. Drew Carter with the football. Picks up a first down as he crosses the 50 into Bowling Green territory. At the 49 of the Falcons. This time Ross takes it. Trying to find some running room. Maybe a couple of yards. Pick up of three. Second down and seven. Mullen. Quick pass over the middle. Finds his tight end, Ryan Hamby. Plenty of running room finally brought down as he rumbles down to the 25-yard line. Ohio State on their opening drive. Maurice Hall in the backfield. He gets his first carry of the game, and not a whole lot of running room right there. Mike McMullen finds Jenkins. He loses the football, and Bowling Green's got it. Fighting for the extra yards, has the ball stripped, and the Falcons come up with a turnover. And the horseshoe gets a little bit louder. Harris, to his left, makes the pass. It's complete at the 19, gain of four. Harris has three receivers to his right. This time the handoff, nothing doing there. Rolls left. Makes the pass and it is intercepted by Ohio State. Dustin Fox has the football and he's brought down at the 30-yard line. 
Ohio State's defense answers picking off the pass. 8.44 to go here in the first quarter. McMullen over center. Takes the handoff. He's in trouble. And he is going to be brought down back at his 36-yard line. And it looks like a flag comes in at the line. Inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty, previous spot. Repeat, first down. You saw Pip Cow played over the last couple of weeks for Javon Burks, who's been nursing an injury to his knee. Maurice Hall gets the carry over the middle. Second down and two. Pitch back this time. He takes the pitch back. What a ring to run. Cuts back inside and up near first down territory. Ross in the backfield. First down and goal to seven for the Buckeyes. He gets the handoff. Lunches ahead. Second down and seven. Five receivers spread out for McMullen. No one in the backfield makes the throw and overshoots his intended receiver, Drew Carter. Third down and goal. Ross in the backfield. McMullen straight back. Pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State to Drew Carter. A big third down and goal pass play. McMullen to Carter, and Ohio State's on the board. Carter with his first touchdown catch of the season. Nugent tacks on the extra point, and the Buckeyes take advantage of a Josh Harris interception, turn it into seven, and take a first quarter lead here at Ohio Stadium. Things stay that way in that top five bracket for those two clubs at the end of the season. That's going to be a huge game. Brandon Jones. Takes his kickoff, and again, not a whole lot of room to run after he crosses the 10-yard line. Ohio State was able to take advantage with great field position. The field position has not been good for Bowling Green. A quick pass in. Ohio State's defense making a statement, including an upset win at Purdue, as we mentioned a couple of weeks ago when the Boilermakers were ranked 16th. Another quick pass. Looks like a first down for the Buckeyes. This is one thing you don't want to throw too often his way, do you? Not at all. Only when you have to. First and ten, Harris. Chase down to the pocket, finds Magner. First down up near the 45. First down and ten. Harris looking straight downfield. Now in trouble. Fires away. And another first down. This time up to McGrady again. Pass to his left. Magner's got it. Short gain. Because if you run the ball, if you can get four yards, that's fine. This one tipped again. The deflection and incompletion makes it third and six. Harris again. First down to Charles Sharon. Going to go right at Chris Gamble. Magner. One of the goals for this Bowling Green State team is to keep their offense on the field. This time, though, Harris in trouble. A swarming defense. Third down and one. Harris is lined up as a receiver. And P.J. Pope got to trick him a little bit. And Harris again goes wide left. Pope takes a direct snap. Finds some running room. Gets seven, maybe eight. He lines up at quarterback for a moment. Now back again at receiver. Top screen. Pope rolls that way. Looks like he's going to keep it. This time the Buckeyes said, you know what? Three strikes, you're out on this one. Harris stays in at the quarterback position. Takes the snap. Pass. Touch. Down. McGrady makes the reception and Bowling Green answers. And the extra point ties this ball game up at seven apiece. Bowling Green State fans like what they have seen here at Ohio Stadium. We are locked up seven all.
tied 7 all. Sarisha made a short kick at the 25 yard line. And Childress finally brought down to the 34. Well, they had to go 30 yards for the first touchdown thanks to the interception. Now let's see what they can do on offense. Got to like what they see right there. Tonight. He has not practiced all week. Strain that elbow in that victory against North Carolina State last week. And there is a, a risk, of course, of further injuring that. So he's kept that arm quiet. The referee was right on the spot and threw the flag. The spot. Automatic first down. It's all about when you can get away with it. Exactly. It's time to hand off goes to Hall, and it looks like there may have been a fumble. Bowling Green says there was. They say they've got the football, and they do. Keon Newsom. Get that ball away from the Buckeyes. Give it back to our offense. Number one in the nation. And here's why. They have had success throwing the football. It keeps your defense honest. There's no doubt about that. Then wrinkle in the no huddle. Hope again gets the carry. A couple of tough yards. Harris alone in the backfield. Five receivers spread out. Slips, falls, and barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter here at Ohio Stadium. Bowling Green and Ohio State are locked up seven all. We've had interceptions, fumbles, and a couple of touchdowns. It's been entertaining. We'll come back for more in a moment. You have to Marcus Green to take his spot now. Bowling Green has the football. Third down and 12. Harris getting chase. Let's go with the football just in time. It's so the Falcons. This one clearly trying to kick away from Gamble, and it rolls into the end zone. And it's club on defense now for Bowling Green. Ross in the backfield for Ohio State. Going straight back. And this one just out of the hands. Second and ten for their offense. Bowen leads this one to Carter. Spins ahead to about the 26, maybe the 27. Glass in motion. Going straight back on third and short. He gets chased. Trying to run for the first down. Dives, loses the ball out of bounds, but it looks like he'll be marked well short of the first down. Chris getting injured. Listen to this. That's not where you want your quarterback, Craig. Charles Sharon back to receive this punt, but whistles. Prior to the snap, ball start offense. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. Early second quarter. Beautiful punt. Sharon back inside his 25. Rolls to his right, tries to turn the corner, no dice. Running into the kicker, huh? defense. That five-yard penalty's declined. Bowling Green State. Thinking coming in, they can definitely play with this club. Harris. Really doing a nice job of orchestrating this offense. Quick pass and another big hit. He likes contact. That's a linebacker's mentality, and he's a good one. He knew that from early on. Fumble at Ohio State. Looks like they have come up with the football. They have been applying pressure to Harris, and they forced the fumble. Bobby Carpenter came in and stripped Harris of the football, giving his offense a chance. And now on the carry goes Ross, looking for some running room. Second down and six. McBullen, heavy rush, and he's going to be brought down. Third down and 12, loss of six. McBullen to pass. Ball stripped away. Bowling Green thinks they've got the football. Mike Nugent, 47-yard attempt. Plenty of leg. And he gets it through the uprights. And the Buckeyes take the lead.
Nugent's 47 yard field goal gives Ohio State a 10 7 lead from Ohio Stadium. Our field goal coming off the turnover again forced by the Buckeye defense. Brandon Jones two yards deep in his end zone thinks otherwise. So Josh Harris at his own 20. Takes over first down and 10. Looks throws right as his receiver. And it's a lot of fun to reminisce and it's uh, hard to believe it's been 35 years. <laughs> but Rex how would your national championship team stack up well, especially in the Woody A's offense that was unheard of. Uh, I, I think we started a little new era at that time Greg. Josh Harris on the fumbled uh, snap and again A.J. Hawk for Ohio State. That punt by Nate Fry off the side of his foot out of bounds and a couple of turnovers and a nice run by Maurice Hall on first and ten gets about seven or eight second down and three. And the handoff goes to Hall, easily picks up the first down. It hasn't worked in the first three weeks of the season so far. So far this afternoon, they've done a pretty nice job. Jenkins on the catch, spins away. Shift, offense, two men moving, it's snap. Five yard penalty, still first down. Penalty so far in this one, two apiece. First and 15, Mullen straight back. Looking downfield, Jenkins got his hand on it. Second down and 15. McBowen, pass complete. Short gainer from the 44 yard line of the Falcons. McBowen loses the football. Went to punt fake and it slipped out of his hand. They're going to definitely try to do it, but they expect to leave here with the win. And this one beautifully goes out of bounds. Got to be careful here at the three. Harris hands off. Not much running room at all for P.J. Pope. Inside of six minutes to go here in the first half. Harris again, handoff Pope, makes it to the five. Third down and eight, no timeouts left here. Harris, shotgun, pass. Is dropped. Good to have some running room here. That's if Fry punted to him, barely does, and takes a foot out of bounds. So a great job by Nate Fry. Schnitger and Hall in the backfield for McMullen. Ross the carry, I should say. Fry, but they've got to mix it up a little more. See McMullen's numbers, efficient numbers, six out of ten, only 54 yards. They're stopping the run, though. The Falcons right up front for Ohio State at the 41 of Bowling Green. Hartsock went in motion. McBowen rolls the other way and finds his other tight end, Ryan Hamby. Now they really have to rely on that run game. Fourth and a short two. Handoff, Ross. Two and Ross found an opening, and that's all he needed to go right up the middle. Nugent on for the extra point. It is good, and Ohio State extends its lead now to 10 points at 17 to 7. Feel okay about looking at me. Jim Tressel not forgetting what your goals need to be season to season. No man. Bowling Green forced a bad punt, and now they start on the 42 yard line. Harris comes out of there throwing from his 20. Moments ago, the offensive unit was getting chewed out when head coach Brand, uh, Greg Brandon broke in and said, It's just poise that we're missing, and we want to start with you, Josh Harris. Get some poise. It's my job to manage it. And the problem is, is they 
they depend on him so much to make big plays. He's saying that he helps manage those guys. Harris's numbers. 120 yards throwing a touchdown and an interception so far here in the first half. Buck trails by 10. And this one, under heavy pressure, throws it away. It's linebackers that much, which really helps their defense. This one nearly picked off by Chris Gamble. The state's going to get a little bit of time left on the clock. Nate Fry does the punting and a boomer. Gamble lets it go, and it just makes the end zone. This time handoff goes to Hall. Since that North Carolina State game last Saturday. Got some running room this time for Maurice Hall. He's a winner. The stats don't bear the fact of what Craig Krenzel brings to this team. He's just a winner, and he refuses to let him lose. Hall breaks free to the left side. He gets up near midfield to the 50-yard line as time expires here in the first half. Jason Morton brings him down. And under the direction of Scott McMullen, the senior quarterback, making his first start in two years. Halftime here from Ohio Stadium. We've had some turnovers. The Buckeyes have been able to take advantage. A big run by Ross to extend a 17-7 lead here at the break from Columbia. Line for Bowling Green after the interception return by Patton. Golden opportunity for the Falcons. Harris up over center. Lateral back. Magner looking to pass. Does. It's dropped at the one-yard line. Bag of tricks early in the first half. Try to begin now. This one tipped way up. Intercepted by Ohio State. A.J. Hawk has it. And the Buckeyes get it back. Buckeyes first and 10 at their own 26. Ross. Carry a couple of yards. Second and seven. McMullen chased out of the pocket, and he's going to be hauled down inside the 20. And so third down and long, third and 17 now for McMullen. Straight back in the pocket. And this one. Thrown out of bounds. You always hear the phrase, don't flinch, and they certainly have not done that. Sharon calls for a fair catch. Trying to decipher what happened on that last incomplete pass. Fumbled snap, and Harris wisely. Good pass, complete. Sharon. Third down and eight. Harris, heavy pressure on the run, dives ahead to the 50, well short of the first down. It is 10. Fry, the left-footed punter. His bounces in Bowling Green down to inside the 20 yard. At that time, he was thrown in the mix when Steve Bellisari was suspended a couple of days before that game with a run-in with the law. Second down at six. Pitch back this time, Hall cuts it back over the middle, picks up a first down. Ohio State's running game continues to do rather well. Pitch back again to Hall. This time he is tripped up. This is where it becomes the second half grinded out that Ohio State would prefer to do right. Now. Right. Mullen back on second and 11. Completes the pass to his tight end, Hartsock. Senior out of Granville. Makes the handoff. Rolls the other way on the bootleg, keeps it himself. Dives ahead for the first down. Hall and takes a pretty good shot. Sales and Patton gave him a shot. This time Hall finds some running room. Busts into Falcon territory up to the 40-yard line. Tim Beckman said he likes to go with his whole two deep across that front four. But there are only two juniors among that group of eight. A lot of youngsters out there. Again, hands it off. Ross straight ahead. Third down and three for Ohio State. They stick with the running game. Ross gets the call again. 
Well, Ohio State went back to basics this week across that front line, and it is paying off. At the 29 of Bowling Green. Ross gets the call again. Has some room. Schnitger and Hall in the backfield. Give it to Hall. And he's going to come up short. See how much that uh, running game has the confidence at this point. Last time at fourth down and two from this territory, they scored a touchdown. Hall gets the call. Straight ahead. Gets spun around. And I don't think he made it. So it's first and ten for the Falcons at their own 22. Josh Harris keeps it, starts running right away, maybe a yard. Very much, they're still, they're minus three yards in rushing. They came in averaging 575 yards of offensive game because of plays like this. Cole Magner gets back into the rhythm. There's in this part of the country from Alaska, he is one of them. It's a great story, too. Another quick pass and catch this time to Steve Sander. Of course, you expect a wide receiver to want the ball, and that carry over to the basketball court in 15 games. Magner had 22 steals. A defensive specialist. When you word rhythm being brought up by both coaching staffs. They are in a rhythm right now. Up until that point. But the Ohio State wants to disrupt it. That's what they were able to do. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter here from Ohio Stadium. Turnovers so far in the second half. No points on the board by either team. It's still 17-7. Seven receptions on the afternoon already for 77 yards. Big third down and eight to try to keep this drive alive to start out the fourth quarter. All right, a snap. Ball start offense. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Here's what they call. Low snap over the middle. Pass is dropped. Up for that, and he just wants to get the ball in his hands. He's got it this time. Sales out of bounds over at the 23-yard line. At least for the first part of the season, Heat and the defense have been on the field a lot in the first three games as well. Well, if this offense doesn't pick up, carried the ball one time, rush for 15 yards. He's not caught a pass yet. Ross trying to turn the corner, gets up near the 30-yard line. And they've hung in there. Charles Sharon. Let's this punt go, and it bounces out of bounds inside the 30. Quite an atmosphere. Back to pass. Harris. This one incomplete. He made some positive yards. Quick snap. And a pass over to Cole Magner. Five receivers. He's in the shotgun. Over the middle, pass complete, and it is going to be close to a first down. Here come the Buckeyes. Pass complete. Magner's got it. And finally gets pulled down, but just turns around, and the ball's right on the money. Harris. Can't elude the rush that time. Will Smith. Crowd coming alive. Good pass dropped. Would have been a first down. Nate Fry comes in to punt. Sails this one out of bounds, but they'll mark it way up at the 24 yard line. Now, Scott McMullen still owning a 10 point lead, has been since late in the second quarter. Ohio State very successful on the ground so far in this one. And Ross adds a little more to it. McMullen straight back. A lot of time. Finds his receiver, Michael Jenkins. Wide a running room if he gets some blockers inside the 20. May have got his bell rung a little bit. Straight up the gut again. Maurice Hall. In Second and three. Hall, Hall. Down to the five. Looks like he picked up another first down. First and goal at the five. 
Victor and Hall in the backfield. Hall gets the call. And he is stacked up for maybe a gain of one down to the four. Cross back in there behind Schnitger. He gets the pitch. Should get into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. First score of the second half for the Buckeyes. Extend their lead. And with 8.46 to go in the ball game. The extra point is good. That makes our score Ohio State 24, Bowling Green 7. Ohio Stadium lights up again. 8.46 to go in this contest. And a long kickoff dropped in the end zone and a touchback. That they can now play smash mouth football and get the running game back to where it should be. Harris looking straight downfield at his receiver. Second and ten. And the inside handoff this time for Bowling Green. For Bowling Green. Harris on third and eight. Looks downfield. Pass complete. Stretch for the first down. And it looks like Steve Sanders got it. Those numbers just haven't gotten the job done when you throw in the turnover factor. Magner, the catch. And the rankings have improved on total offense over the last four years. It'll be good to be in that 200 range to one in a matter of four years. First year coach has been the offensive coordinator the previous two years before taking over. So this offense really hasn't changed a whole lot. BJ Lane again and maybe he fumbled. And they did. Will Smith stripped for that fumble, but B.J. Lane got it back to set up second and four. Again, they stick with the running game. First down and ten inside Ohio State territory. Here comes the blitz. Gets the pass away. On the screen. A little bit of running room up there for Pope. They need chunks of yards right now because the clock is not in their favor. Second and two. Harris over the middle. Pass complete. First down. the shotgun Harris rolls right pass complete Sanders and a nice gainer up to the 15 yard line that's down at 10 from the Ohio State 15 Harris in the shotgun looking over the middle as his receiver and that is Sanders to go in this game Holding offense 10 yards previous spot Repeat first down. Puts the ball all the way back to the 25 when it could have been first to go from the three. And this one incomplete. Now to score three times to get back in this one. And second and 20 over the middle. Finds his receiver touchdown to Cole Magner. Took a mighty hit, stayed on his feet, and went into the end zone. That's the quick score you need from that point. And Bowling Green was able to come up with it. Here shakes them off. Swisham's extra point is good. So they ran downfield, did a little bit of passing, and then the big play. Harris finds his favorite receiver, Cole Magner. And we have a 24-14 game. Got Cole Magner behind him. He's special teams, good hands man. Ball bounces up. It's up for grabs and out of bounds. Does Bowling Green have it? They do. A tremendous play. First and 10 at the Ohio State 44. Here we go again. Bowling Green not done yet. Pass over the middle, complete inside the 30 yard line. They're within 10, but they have the football. Josh Harris eludes the sack, completes the pass, and knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. For doesn't look like anyone's left. They've seen this before. Harris over the middle. This one right through the hands of his. Over the middle, pass complete. Again to Steve Sanders. 
Balls at the five. Fire the snap. Ball started offense. Five yard penalty. Harris throws it away. Or will they rule him a sack? Flag comes in. Get rid of that ball. Tensional grounding. Charge to the offense. That is lost to down. Spot foul. Fourth down. Sean Swisham in. And this one will be about a 33-yard attempt. Right down the middle. And Bowling Green comes out of there with points after receiving the onside kick. So now only down by seven. This one bounces and right into an Ohio State player out there on special teams. Running. Ross in the backfield. Schnitger is fullback. And he gets about three up to the 40. Trapped the Bowling Green timeout. Pitch back to Ross. Not a whole lot of room there. And right Ross and Schnitger in the backfield. Ross doubles the pitch, ball loose. And Bowling Green says they've got it. Looks like the Buckeyes may have recovered. Not this time. This one's short, however. Sharon at the 20, looking into the sun. Still on his feet, brought down about the 24-yard line. Josh Harris now versus that Ohio State defense. He has to go 76 yards. Over the middle, falls incomplete. Look. 38 seconds to go. Harris back, chased out of there. Loops him up near the sideline. This one falls out of bounds. Ohio State with three linemen rushing. Harris looking over the middle, pass complete, first down. Inside Buckeye territory, Magner with the catch. And Harris spikes this. And on downs, got the football back. And they changed their defense. Now they're going to try to play a little closer to those wide receivers outside. Harris going for it all. Incomplete into the end zone. Interesting, they bring a player in from defense to help out against perhaps the nation's best cornerback. Harris chased down to there. Makes a throw and intercepted. Will Allen's got the football. And he is brought down with one second to go, and Ohio State hangs on again. Once again, it comes down to the Buckeye defense, and Will Allen and company are there. Was forced to make one last play, and it looks like time has expired off the clock, and that is the ball game. And this Buckeye defense again comes up with a key play to preserve a win. And Will Allen, this is the second time he's done that this season, actually, the third time. San Diego State last week, he makes the big tackle against North Carolina State, and then today comes up with another big interception. Scott McMullen and the Buckeyes survive again 24 17, the final score. We're going to come back with a final word from Ohio Stadium in a moment.